Hi everyone, I'm at the dig site again and I'm determined to finish this site off today, one way or the other. Uh, I started digging at this location last time. Uh, there is stuff coming out, 1960s stuff, bottles, personal possessions, these sort of things. I want to get digging and see what else there is and as soon as I find something, I'll let you know. I was just clearing away some undergrowth and leaves and things just to expand my dig site and I found a bottle already. It does say Moore Bottlers Limited. And I also found this. Pib Plus. What do you reckon that was? Hmm. A nice green bottle and it's got martini on it. Martini, martini. Nothing too spectacular, but at least it's a bottle. It just shows there are still bottles coming out of this site. There's lots of building rubble here. Lots of tree roots and some sort of bottle. No markings on it. Look the hole. And something plastic. All rounder moisturizing cream. And we'll bottle. I've just actually found one of the most bizarrest finds I think I've ever found, and I'll show that to you in a moment. At first I thought this was an ID badge. Unless they have a very strange name, I don't think it is. I'm starting to find a lot of random building. Whoa, what? B, B did you see that? I'm starting to find a lot of building rubble and reinforced glass, which is not a good sign. I think I might have to change direction. I've just expanded my dig site and I've been finding bits of china, mainly cups. I've been finding handles, I've been finding rims, finally found a base, no maker's mark. I found a slab of newspaper in here somewhere because there's remnants coming out. I'll dig carefully just in case I can get a date on this. I think this paper is too far gone. Well this is really hard going. A lot of burnt stuff coming out of here, a lot of building rubble and a lot of this stuff. Which my only guess is it's horse hair or something from a some sort of mattress. There's loads of it. And it's a nightmare to try and dig through. Very strange stuff. Okay, a quick update as to what I found, some of the smaller things. Uh, for those people foolish enough to watch the last episode, I found what was a broken chamber pot and I found something with a letter on it and I was hoping to find enough to uh, put it together. Well, it looks as if I have found enough bits and C was the only giveaway, so no idea what brand that was. I have noticed a large selection of uh, china, all different patterns and things, a marble, green bottle, a bone, which I'm assuming isn't human, and you like this. Braces. How seriously nasty is that? Yeah. One complete medicine bottle. And another little one. This one I've been trying to get out for ages and it is glued in there. Well, apart from someone's dental braces, I haven't found the wow factor today. Um, this is a hard dig for a little reward, but I'm going to keep at it because there's lots of plastic bags and bottles coming out. The plastic bags do act as a sort of a, an insulator and protect the bottles underneath. So I'm hoping there's something good to find. There's also a lot of styrofoam down here, which is always a nightmare, but at least it's protecting some of the bottles. ketchup bottle maybe? A ceramic thingamabob. 
obviously to be attached to a wall with the top bit missing hmm. quite a few bottles to be dug out in the next few moments but there is this thing I think it's plastic but let's just see what that is okay I take it back it's not plastic Let me see if I can clean that up a little bit. Whatever it is, it's uh, mysterious. Hmm, any ideas? Please leave me a note below if you can identify this thing. I'm forever the optimist. Every time I dig out a jar, I hope maybe someone's put something inside it and buried it. Oh well. Right, here we go. Mystery item number two. Oh man. Oh, it's wrapped in plastic as well. It's a coffee jar. Nestle. Aha. Anything in that? Nope. And then we've got a milk bottle here. Lemonade bottle of some sort. That's pretty cool shaped. Uh, Wait, Mackay? Yeah. This is such a challenging sight. Apart from synthetic tights, one bottle, two bottles, three bottles, big bit of wood, and loads of plastic bags. I went quiet when I pulled this out because I was trying to read what it said. It's obviously a beer bottle. It says no deposit, no return. And then here, Ingen Pant, Ingen Retour. Hmm, now what language is that? This here is a slab of newspaper and I'm going to try and dig this out to see if I can get a date from it. I did break a little bit off and it just crumbled in my hands so it might be too far gone but I'll give it a try. The paper is very very fragile. Um, it is the Daily Express and I'm wondering if it's 1969 like the rest of the newspapers I found in this area. The bringing of work and prosperity to the forgotten part of Britain, labour is spending such and such a year on development areas, twice as much as in 1964-65. Now the four-year uh, parliament span, I'm wondering if there was an election in I've just been tugging at something for about five minutes. I was determined to get it out. I thought it was a part of a broken bottle. Not quite. Eee. <laughs> Lots of uh, bones here. And I'm pretty sure they're not human. I hope they're not human. No. After pulling out that bone, I found this thing. It is lead, it's really quite heavy. And I am wondering what that was. I'll show you some of the finds that I found, the smaller finds, and then I think I might wrap this video up. Rain is forecast in the next 30 minutes to an hour, so I don't want to get drenched. Firstly, some of the personal things. A bit of a leather belt, two combs, not one, but two combs. A groovy bead uh, bobbin. A groovy button from the 1960s. And this little plastic thing which says, baby's first solid food. And a few of the products which they're using. A uh, bird's eye handy pack, fried potato chips or fries to my American cousins, washing up detergent, Disnell, uh, also Winfield, they weren't loyal towards a certain brand these people, Cornish dairy cream, granola digestive biscuits and Revlon aquamarine spray mist. Well, there are some parts of this site I haven't gone over. There's a big funny metal thing looking at me right here and I might explore that sometime, but not now. I've been over this uh, area quite a lot and it's been a, a strange one. I came here maybe a couple of years ago with my metal detector and I swear as soon as I put the detector on the ground it went off and it was a penny or a half penny. And I thought, really? And I went over this entire area with the metal detector, did not find a single squeak. Anyway, recently I was here and I just did a speculative dig because I knew there was a lot of um, milk bottles and it looked like a 60s site and I found 
what was it, six or seven bottles made in Maryland in the United States which dated from 1880 to 1888 and two brown bottles which dated from 1900 to 1920. And I kind of joked in one of my videos that maybe I'd found someone's dumped bottle collection and that's why I've gone through this area with a fine tooth comb and I found absolutely nothing on uh, camera apart from the base of another bottle from Maryland just to prove that it was actually found here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos. Uh, I will probably come back and do some more digging. I did make a big deal at one point about where all this stuff was coming from, and I was pretty sure it was a Victorian cottage about a mile in that direction. It had been demolished around 1970. Everything here is from 1969. It kind of makes sense. Anyway, I did a bit of snooping here the other day, and I have found the, 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 the brickwork and the, the stonework from that uh, particular property, and uh, I'm not going to dig that out, but there's a big mountain of it covered in brambles and very nasty sharp things. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.